Welcome to my 16th Deadman Mode video in a row. In my last one, we finally died for absolutely everything in bracket 4, and now it's time to move up to the final bracket and max out my combat stats. The rebuild will be swift as Eviescape, who is one of my best friends, has hundreds of mills up there as he's been getting a max cape on Deadman Mode, and he said he'd be willing to buy me a new set as long as I can PK him all the money back, which I'm sure I can. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm just gonna buy a fuck ton of blood runes to put in my scythe so I can go train, and we're gonna move up brackets because I just got smoked. Okay, it is time to leave the 91 to 110 bracket behind with that death, unfortunately. I'm gonna get, uh, I'm just gonna level up right now, do a little bit of training, I guess, and then on my immunity, I'm gonna go get 80 prayer so I can use the new Elodinus ward, and then I'm gonna get my mage cape too for all you guys who really want me to get it. Alright, and that gets me to 111 combat. I need to move brackets now. When I moved brackets, I was greeted with a new present the only Zarek crossbow in the game. Big shout out to one of my viewers and longtime watchers from when I used to stream, Sant D. Claus. He heard I died and randomly messaged me saying, yo, I just bought a Zarek crossbow for you to make some content with, and I wasn't gonna say no. I now have 56 minutes of protection to get myself 80 prayer and go get myself the Mage Cape 2. All right, that's 80 prayer, 51 minutes to cast all my spells and get Mage Cape 2, can I do it? All right, 48 minutes to do Mage Cape 2. Okay, and that is all three spells unlocked. I have 31 minutes to find all the bosses, kill it, get back here, and imbue my mage cape. All right, I found my first one with 29 minutes to go. Might need some heals from this menacing mage, though. Okay, that's the first one down, nice. Nice, okay, I'm done with 23 minutes to spare. All right, let me use my Guthix cape. I usually don't get an imbued Guthix cape. I usually get the Zami, but this is for my boy Adam. I'm gonna use the last 20 minutes of protection getting as many prayer levels as I can. That's my last trip, I cut it a little bit close. I've really got 60 seconds to get to a safe area. Got to 87 prayer though, not too bad. I'm 112 combat. With every bracket comes automatic quest unlocks. So now I'll be able to get some Barrow's Gloves for you brain deads. And I also chose the TOA and the Dragon Slayer 2 quest lines as my unlocks for bracket four and bracket five. All right, this is the gear I've managed to buy back so far. I've got three mil cash as well. And I also have the Light Bearer in my bank. Gonna wait for Sugar Daddy Eviescape to get on while I go train my stats and hopefully you can hook me up even fatter. All right, the next breach is in two and a half hours. I don't know if I'm gonna be PK ready for it. I'm just gonna sit my ass at Fire Giants and hope I can get enough defense levels to feel safe. All right, I finally got 99 hit points done, which is good. 114 combat, and I am 86 death. This guy went AFK after killing his animated armor, so I picked it up and tried to charge him 500K for it. You know we're on a rebuild right now. He only had 100K, so I gave it back to him for that. All right, that's 90 death. I'm looking 115 combat, a little low for this breach, I will say. Um, I have like seven minutes to go get geared up as best I can, so let's get to it. Okay, we're geared. The breach is in two minutes. So, yeah. Northeast of Canafist, I see. Ooh, this guy just got a drop. Let's jump him. Feel us? Come on, 38. Oh, why does the boss have to hit me, dude? Why does the boss have to hit me? Come on, big bolt. Feel us. Ooh, 51. Karasi? Ho, ho, ho. He's almost just died to that, plus the fucking Ziliana thing or whatever. There we go. Come on. I need some better hits than that. Oh, he's getting comboed out by something else now. Holy shit. 54 KO. Oh my god, the Zarek crossbow goes off, dude. It goes absolutely off. Trinket of Advanced Weaponry, we will certainly take that, mate. Freeze that. Void Waker, 31. One more, to the dome, oh, 64. YOLO mission never saw what hit him, Jesus Christ. That's a scythe, just like that. Let's pick it all up. Welcome to Dinner Man Mode. Oh my God, this guy had everything. He literally had everything. 30, go again, 32, let's see if he even changes his prayer once, 62, just hit him on the run, 30 through prayer, okay, that's a more effective way, just 4x VLS someone, that's a shadow right there, <laughs> dude, I got this Emmy Balter guy saying welcome to DMM every time I kill someone, I don't even have to say it anymore, that's pretty sick. Frozen, nice. On. This guy's got levels on me. Again. Come 
This guy good. Huh. Is he alright? I think he might be dead, mate. I think this might be another AC member welcome to DMM. To be honest. Dead? Good fight. <laughs> welcome to doggy bad mode, this guy says. GG, buddy. GG, that's a PK out the game. He was running south from... The breach is over. He was just running south to bank and he ran into me. He instantly panicked and tried to get away. But it was a little too late. One mil, one mil, one mil, and two mil. If you're a true supporter of Ditterband mode, head over to Eviescape's channel right now. I've linked it down below. Please go show him some love on his recent videos. Without him, this wouldn't be possible. He bought me full Virtus and a new Toxic Staff, as well as Armadil. And with the help of Santy Claus's cash as well, massive love to him. I was able to buy more Missouri, which Eviescape made for me in the Fortified version. I may be the only person in the history of RuneScape to die for Max on Deadman mode and re-gear the next day in even better gear. And it's all thanks to these two. So thank you guys so much. Eviescape spent 200 mil on the gear for me, and I just gave him 50 mil back from Santa Claus, which he said I could, which means I now have to PK 150 mil back to give to Eviescape to pay my debt. All right, that's 95 death. I'm gonna put it on attack now. All right, that's 98 strength, 121 combat. I'm gonna get geared up. I'm on him, I'm on him. Wait, Dead. stop what you're doing and sub to fucking did Dead. on Welcome YouTube to DMM, right now. Mate. Yeah, zero staff, B ring, VLS, the lot. 22 mil. God, this guy looks free. He's like fucking half HP thanks to this boss. <laughs> I just one hit him. <laughs> it's not looking good. VLS. I'm just VLS and an overtake kid. Dude, is he AFK or something? I just, I just 4x VLS is over sick kid. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome to the Overtake Chronicles. In this bracket, I've been PKing with some of my Aussie friends, and this clan Overtake has been trying to bait us for max at them. When this breach ended, we ended up getting into a bit of a scrap at Castleworth. Yo, I'm coming. He just hit me with Porcupine, I think. Fucking dogs, bro. He's dead? Bye. My friend killed one of them for a decent bit of cash, and we decided to leave the bank with our win. All right, let's check these three keys. One mil, nice. Five mil, and one mil again. Went to sleep and woke up in time for the next breach. All right, let's get ready. This breach is coming in a second. Barrows, dude, this is going to be so easy for people to escape. Barrows is really easy to escape for two reasons. One, you can just keep going up and down in any of the mounds until you can get a tally off. The 100 people around just make it that much harder. But even if no one is around, it's still a pretty easy escape. And two, PKers are also completely safe here, even with the teleport delay that Skull people have, because you can just go into your tunnel and be completely safe too. As everyone has a different tunnel and different doors, you're never going to be able to catch someone down there. This means a couple of voiders are going to try their luck on me. That man just came rushing at me with Dragon Claws and his Feral Frider actually procced on the second claw. I definitely actually could have just died there for everything. The whole set plus a Zarat crossbow. I just got lucky. That was fucking terrifying. And as you can see, as soon as I try and start fighting him, he can just dig down, go back out, get out of combat with me, and attack someone else, and he's completely safe from me. Now I've just used all my combo food, and like I said, you can escape in three seconds, and now this 12e dynamite guy is trying his luck.
Dude, I just got chanced like seven times. Holy fuck. So I guess I'm lucky for the easy escapes there. But they're also the only reason they're trying me. This kid's is savages, dude. Feel us that? 54? One more? No way, I just got hit there, dude. You're trolling me, dude. Nice, 34. Feel us again, 34. Karasi. What? You're trolling. Dude, don't tell me this guy doesn't have a spade, bro. What? You came to Barrows without a spade. This is like the easiest breach to escape from. Not even gonna lie to you guys. How did you not bring a spade or anything? Nice, we caught him there. Perfect. I think he's gonna die here. GG, mate. GG. I don't know how this guy didn't bring a spade. This is like the easiest place to escape from. I didn't bring my looting bag either, but it is what it is. Tomb can shadow just like that. We'll take it. Freeze that. Nice. Feel us. Bro, fuck off, boss. Just fuck off. Did this guy just hit drink a divine potion? Feel us. 40. Karasi that. Dead. 44. Bolt it. Come on. Give me that scythe and give me whatever else drop you've got. I think he just got a kill. Come on, baby. I believe in the crossbow. No way is he running for a spade, dude. These are the only kills you can really get at Barrows. There's people who genuinely forgot a spade. Because everyone else can just dig and there's a hundred people. Killed this guy and took his loot. I don't really know how to explain this, but as I was recording this and got this kill, I almost needed to like start vomiting in real life and the audio is something you don't really want to hear. Um, I took his key. I didn't end up getting his key, but yeah, we ended up killing him. I really don't know how to explain that to you. I just woke up and I needed to vomit or some shit. I just started vomit. Well, no, I didn't. But I started almost needing to vomit, like, after I got a kill. Like, what the fuck? Because I just woke up. I don't know. That's five mil in our looting bag. I got, like, one, mi one minute to get back there. I may or may not have just been vomiting IRL, so yeah. I didn't end up picking up the second key for whatever reason. The first key though, five mil in just supplies. We'll take the cash, not the greatest breach. Okay, it's time to get back to trading. I still need to get 99 attack, 99 defense, and 99 strength. So let me put some of this stuff in the depot. All right, that's 97 attack. I think I'm gonna go take a nap. Okay, I may or may not need to get 90 smithing and 90 prayer because I think my boy Chode is gonna buy me an arcane to make that good Elodinus ward. So I'm picking up some sigils to help with that later. I also bought myself a pair of dragon claws that I'm gonna be using in pair with a feral fighter sigil. It basically gives me an 80% chance of each dragon claw spec procking the feral fighter sigil, which means my next attack would be insanely quick after the spec. And it should lead to some nice KOs from double claws or a claws into a Karasi. North of Ardy. This is probably the long way around, but maybe it means some people will get some loot. Some people will scull up because they don't see me. Claw that again. Oh my god, I just double clawed the fuck out of him. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. That is what I was waiting for. The Feral Fighter to proc. That's exactly what we wanted. Nice. Karasi dead. 44, that's an overtake guy down. Finally, finally, he drops the good fight. Respect. I can respect a good, good fight. Let's pick that all up. Okay, I caught this guy. Feel us it? Through the prayer? Oh my god. Even that worked out nicely. Didn't have enough spec for the Karasi, so I just went for one of that. The breach is about to end, so I kind of just had to hit someone. Okay, I'm gonna have spec soon, I can try it. If I hit, that is. Nice. 
What the fuck? Baltum? Shit doesn't want to be quick with me anymore, or what? Dead. Oh, I just got him, dude. I just got him. So not only do the guards fuck you up when you go in a safe zone, apparently your looting bag doesn't work either, so I actually missed that guy's key, but I did get his shadow in all those rooms. Alright, they're gonna pick up the rest of that shit, but it is what it is. 6.7 mil, the looting bag doesn't work, so I actually didn't get those keys, but at least I killed them. Whatever. Three keys, this guy had some arms in it, which is nice, one mil, three mil of not really much, four mil with some cash. I don't think I got that last guy's keys because it was in the safe zone, I didn't realize I had to pick it up. All right, I'm gonna get started on this 90 smithing and 90 prayer requirements that I'm gonna need for this arcane, allegedly, that I'm gonna get. So, yeah. Okay, what smithing is that? 29. All right, I'm gonna be using the sigil of remote storage, which sends everything from mining to my bank. I'm gonna be using the sigil of infernal smith, which instantly forges those ores into bars. And I'm gonna gain quintuple the resources. I don't even know what a quintuple is, but I'm just gonna work on my smithing right now, get it all the way to 90, hopefully. All right, let's test this out. What happens when I click one iron rock? Bank the steel, did that give me smithing XP? You bank the steel bar you would've gained, giving you a total of nine. That did give me smithing XP, right? It did, okay, dude, I'm a cheater. This is an elite cheat code. None of the ore goes into my inventory or anything. Okay, my dumbass forgot about this three spot over here, so here I am now, this will be a lot quicker XP until I'm ready to make a myth. But it shouldn't be too long. I think I'm only doing this until 48 smithing. I'm only doing this till 43 smithing because the sigil of exaggerate will boost me five levels. So it's really not that much longer. That is 43 smithing. I can make steel plate bodies with a boost. So I'm going to go do that right now. Sigil of exaggeration. Where are you at? I think it's only like 30k. I probably don't have to spend more than that. Yep, 12k. And this will give me a boost right away, correct? Inspect. All non-combat- all non-combat skills are permanently boosted by 5. Okay, it should work then. Alright, let's get training. Does this do it automatically, or am I smoking crack? That's 63 smithing, which will boost me to 68, which means I can do myth plate bodies now? So let me go buy some myth bars. Shout out to my boy El Cho, the Don from my clan, Tata. One of the most generous guys I know. He's been giving a lot of people in our clan free shit. And after my death, he wanted to hook me up with an arcane for this Elodinus Ward, for your guys' viewing pleasure. Bro, what are you doing? Everyone can see that, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just got an arcane sigil drop, dude. Thank you, Chode, I appreciate that. I won't die for it. Oh, I got 83 smithing. I didn't even realize I can now use all these Addy bars that Jake gave me to get to 85. All right, that's 85 smithing, so I can boost to make the Elodinus Ward now. However, I still need 90 prayer, and my friends with the Gilded Altar aren't on right now. I got one friend to go up with me with freezes to hopefully save my life if it was just one PK air. And I went and just risked it because it was only three prayer levels. Alright, I got 90 prey. CD, I got a fee for you, bro. Here, take these two bones. <laughs> Quick and easy, didn't run into anyone, and now we can make the Elodinus ward. Okay, I'm literally hiding in my world in a different house because I don't want everyone to see me in this setup. Use Arcane Sigil with Elodinus ward. Oh my god, I have it. That is crazy. That- oh, I forgot my Serp Helm. I don't even have that in the setup. Damn. But I have it. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Let me go get the rest of my gear. <laughs> I want to put this all on. Alright, let me go hide up here with all my gear. Is this everything? Oh, the Fury, dude. Okay, this is all the gear. It only took me a couple times. God damn. The Elodinus Ward, baby. Fully regeared and kitted at one defense level from being max stats, as well as now having the Zarek crossbow and the Elodinus Warder with the Arcane in it. Sorry there wasn't as much PKing in this episode for obvious reasons, but we'll be back with it tomorrow, PKing with the new ward. A huge shout out to Eviescape, Santi Claus, Chode, and CD for making it possible and continuing the content, because without them, it wouldn't be possible. Subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow.